Hello, friends. We should probably mute this in the background. Yes. Go and take the mute too. Oh, baby, careful. This is warm here. Okay. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I don't know why you wouldn't know because if you're here, you know who I am. But I'm Jennifer. Jean. And that's Jean. And uh, Jennifer's fiance. That's true. Fiance wall. Fiance wall. Um, I haven't made a video in a very long time. I have been MIA for what, two months now? Three months? Mm hmm. Probably about, about three, three months. months, yeah. I have had a long ordeal of being in the hospital and now I'm in rehab. Skilled nursing. Skilled nursing rehab. And it has just seemed like one thing after another and one setback after another. Um, so just really short, I went to the hospital in August. I was septic, I had MRSA. Um, then I was in there for like two months. I was in there for a few weeks Till they found a rehab place for me to come to. Um, I've now been here since the beginning of o October, and now it is almost Christmas, and I want to wish you guys, first of all, a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Hope you, guys to you guys are having a very, very merry time. Um, I'm going to unfortunately spend Christmas in the hospital, but at least Jean will be here with me and I won't be alone. And we have, we can't see them now, but we put up some Christmas lights. I'll put some pictures in here. Of my Christmas lights in my room. And well, we had to unplug them, so we don't really see it now. Right. We were told to unplug them. We were, they said yes when we asked, and then when the another administrative lady came in, she said, uh, oh, how pretty. Uh, yeah, you need to unplug them <laughs> because they're not, they, they consider it a fire hazard. Even though they're lead lights, they burn cooler, they're a little cooler, low energy, but uh, it's still considered a fire hazard to them. If you plug it in, it's a fire hazard. So. But we're going to break the rules and plug them in on Christmas Eve anyhow. Um, so yeah, this is where I am, and uh, since I've been here, I have had a couple of setbacks. I was doing really well um, with re uh, physical therapy. I was getting physical therapy and occupational therapy. I was doing really well with that. Then I came down with COVID. I tested positive for COVID. Um, I'll go into like more detail later, but um, it was a Friday afternoon. And I started having this weird taste in my mouth. And I was like, well, maybe I just needed to brush my teeth. It was like a metallic, like I was chewing on um, a fork or something. And so I didn't really think too much of it. Because like I said, I thought maybe I just needed to brush my teeth. And that was that. Then the next day, my chest felt kind of heavy with the taste in my mouth. And um, I thought maybe it was just the starting of bronchitis. This is the time of the year that I usually get bronchitis. Um, COVID was the last thing in my mind. I mean, I know I'm in a skilled nursing facility and it's like a hotbed for COVID. Um, but it just never occurred to me that it could be that. So then the next day on Sunday, my chest was even heavier and the taste was still there. So that's when I thought, mm, something's not quite right here. And so I asked the nurse to be tested. And when it came back, I tested positive for COVID. So then I was put back in isolation for 10 days. Um, but during that 10 days, like two days later, Jean started coming down with flu-like symptoms, coughing, sneezing. Uh, you had the weird taste in your mouth too, didn't you? Yes, yes, metallic so he went and he tested positive for COVID as well. So we don't really know if I got it first and gave it to him or he got it and gave it to me. I would probably assume that I gave it to him since this is where I am. And there was like five or six other people that tested positive right around the same time as I did, but the same general time. So I'm thinking I probably gave it to him. I shared my lovely germs with him. Um, you don't know, yeah? No. I mean, I was using... You know, public transportation, taxi, Uber, uh, the bus. So, who knows? I was concerned because we all know that for people in my situation, uh, morbidly obese, and I'm diabetic, uh, that it's 
you know, it could be very serious, um, like life-threatening serious. So I was concerned. The doctor here um, told me that there was a treatment available. Well, not actually a treatment, but a shot. It was called mono mono I don't know mono something antibody antibodies and um, as a series of th four shots you got one in each arm and one in each leg and it helped boost your immune system to help you fight the uh, COVID and virus. the virus yeah um, because she said that and this is the part that had me like really paranoid because she said that um, it could take a drastic turn very quickly. It could get bad very quickly. And yeah, I wish you would have probably could have left, left that out. Well, it's like, but it's well, no kidding. I mean, that's what the news keeps blowing up for the past uh, two years. But it's the truth, and it she has to tell the truth. It's a little unnecessary to spread fear to your further fear to your patients. But yeah, however, but it's, she was being honest because it's, you know, it could happen. It very well could have happened. But now's the time to panic. Yeah. Um, but luckily my symptoms did not get very bad. I had uh, heaviness in my chest for maybe four days. And then I had a persistent cough for about a week or two afterwards. I never had a fever. Um, I did lose my, sen uh, my sense of taste and smell. Jean did as well. Did you have a fever? No. No. Um... And then another lovely side effect that I had uh, after the COVID, after the 10 days, it was like towards the end of having COVID, uh, my hair started falling out. And we all know that I have very thin hairs to begin with, and it started coming out really bad. Uh, Jean would brush my hair, and the brush would just be full of hair. So because of that, it was so spotty and patches of baldness, I just decided to cut it all off, which is why we're wearing the pretty little beanie here. Um, I didn't shave my head, like buzz cut it, but I just cut it really short. It's right about yay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was the, the loss of smell and taste and the hair falling out. To me, those were the worst ones because I was on oxygen for about two weeks my um o2 sets would go like into the upper 80s and uh, i was only on two liters of oxygen but they wanted to keep that on me till it my oxygen levels actually stayed up so now they're like 96 97 without oxygen consistently um so i've battled that and i was going to start back with physical therapy then, lo and behold, I've developed some lumps in my stomach that are very painful, and I'm being, we don't really know exactly what they are right now. Um, I'm going to be getting x-rays and some other tests to diagnose those and see what's going on with my stomach. That, that has been holding her back from doing more PT. Because uh, of pain. We could really use your prayers. She needs some good prayer. So first, this, this has been a very hard, tough road for really the both of us. It sucks. And yeah. she was so close to coming home. And That's, she would be very close to coming home. She'd be doing excellent physically wise, but now between COVID that put her out and then now the pain that she's having is, it's just, it's just one step back after another. And it's just been very unsettling yeah it's it's extremely frustrating and kind of depressing because first i was supposed to be released on november 30th and then i got covid and then i haven't i had another discharge date for december 31st or january 6th but now because of the pain in my stomach i'm really not sure when i'll get to go home uh pending further tests and what needs to be done after that Luckily, I have lost enough weight that I can get an MRI and a CAT scan safely. So that, those will be a couple of the tests coming up. Of course, that has to be done after Christmas 
because of it being so close to Christmas and it's not a life or death situation so I can't get it done right now so that's been uh, basically what our past four or five months have been well since our last video yeah three yeah I've been it's here. going on almost five months now of being away from the house yeah and I miss my kitty cat I miss just miss my apartment uh, I miss being home with Gene. He's here as much as he can be. Uh, one night he was here and uh, we couldn't get him an Uber. There was no Uber drivers available. And he got stuck here the whole night. So he had to sleep on the floor. That was miserable. That was a fun night. Uh, but luckily he pushed through it like a trooper. I had to pull her bag of clothes out, a duffel bag, and lay on it. My hip. My hip and, sh and uh, it's basically right here on my body. And then he had his legs under the bed. And I was par he was paranoid and I was par he was paranoid I was going to hit a button and lower the bed. I was paranoid the bed would break and just fall on him. That would have been like headline making news. <laughs> Obese woman kills her fiance. Uh -uh. Lord have mercy. Um, but... I guess I'm okay. Um, I am a little depressed, of course, over everything that's happening. But all in all, I'm doing well emotionally, I think. Uh, I can't lie. One thing that has helped me emotionally a lot has been being off of YouTube. I didn't realize how uh, the negativity can suck your... Uh, happiness right out of you and your, your peace and your joy um i'm not saying that it's youtube's fault um but it is hard to be around a lot of negativity and not feel negative yourself and mirror that negativity that you're receiving onto other people i had turned into i was being just as nasty and negative to others as people were being nasty and negative to me so it's been healthy for me to take a step back from YouTube for quite a while. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to come back to do regular videos. Eventually I will, but um, it's not going to be very, very soon. I'm going to try to make more updated videos, not wait so long to do them. Maybe one a week would be, I think that would be maybe feasible or like doable. Um, I can make the video and then Gene can take it home and edit it and then upload it uh, we're using his phone right now so I don't know is there anything else we should share well she did have a discharge date for the 31st January and then no then, December uh, yeah December 31st and then they said January 6th no it's not not happening happen. she, she hadn't been doing PT for a month so that is very concerning. So we've slid back to not exactly where I was. I mean, obviously I can still sit up and stand up and all that, but you know, I've slid backwards quite a bit. Um, so it's gonna be a while to build myself up to move forward again. Um, everybody here has been so very nice. There's so many good um, aides and nurses. I have not met one nasty one yet. Um, everybody is very kind and I've met, made quite a few friends, not like best friends, but I've become friendly with a lot of people. They, they like Jennifer. She's very easygoing, low maintenance. She does not ring her button. <laughs> she's not very, um, my button. She's like, really is afraid kind of to bother them so I've, I've tried to you know encourage her to kind of step up a little more but hey you know what they sure do love jennifer though uh, jennifer's a sweetheart a sweetie yeah right kissing my hat um yeah i don't know what else to say that's just that's been my life recently um I, I, I got together with a band, and we are actually going on tour uh, next month, so we might be coming to a city near you. 
Uh, we have about three million fall. I'm just joking. Whatever. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Was that a dream or was that reality? Uh, it's been my dream for all my life. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you never know. It's never too late. Yeah. What else? Uh, Probably so much to say that there's... It's almost like... It's too much to say. Too much to say. Just... Keep us in your prayers. Especially Jennifer. Her health and moving forward and coming home. Absolutely need it. We need... I need my baby back to come home. Moo and I, however... A little silver lining here. Absolutely bonded. I'm really trying not to ha have him, you know, bond with me too, too much because I feel like that's Jennifer's job, Jennifer's place. That's her cat. He stole my cats. However, um, it's not I enough. Try to, he... I try to give him his share of love so he's not feeling too dry and lonely. It's not enough that he's taken Luna. <laughs> oh, excuse but, me. Moo, like last night, he was following me everywhere like Luna usually does. He was literally, everywhere I went, he would hop up on the table, hop up on the chair, hop up on the sink, hop up, he was hopping up everywhere, and then he was trying to get on my lap, going in circles, gave him a little scrub, uh, brush, he loves that. Yeah, he loves it. Mm -hmm. I FaceTime with him and talk to him, but I don't think, there was a couple times, there was one time that he made a real good connection with the phone and looking at me and looking, yeah. hearing my voice, but... He, I, I think, he, I know he hears me, but he, I don't think he, like, puts two and two together. No, he doesn't really respond, usually, and most uh -huh. animals really don't, but he really did one time. Yeah. Yeah, he, you could tell he was connecting with Jennifer over FaceTime. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That was cute. It was. What else, babe? Uh, it's not very Christmassy here. We don't really feel, I mean, part of it's because we're here. And I haven't put, I mean, I need to put my pictures back up on my bulletin board. Yeah. Um, because I've changed rooms so many times. I think I've, this is like the sixth, fifth or sixth room I've been in. Because I was in an isolation when I very first came here. Then I was moved. And then moved to another room. And then. And moved to another room. No. When I was in isolation, I think I moved to three different rooms. Oh, that's right, yeah. And then I got out of isolation where it was supposed to be permanent. That's when I got COVID. I was only in that room for, like, a four week. days. Yeah, really? a week to four days. Um, then I had to go back to the isolation unit. Now I'm back in this unit, and I've been here for this room for a couple weeks now, three weeks or so. Uh, so hopefully this will, I won't be changing rooms again because everything – us no more than get things situated to where they should be, where I know they are, so I can get them, and then everything changes again. Mm-hmm. Um, it's fun to change rooms. It's a lot of. It's very exciting. Oh yes, very exciting. I guess that's all we have to say. Oh, like I was saying, it doesn't feel very Christmassy here because uh, it's been in the fifties, close to sixty. Oh. Temperature-wise. Yeah, rain, no snow, and uh, it's not cold at all. It snowed once. A very light about dusting. A, about a month ago, and it was about a, well, she calls it light dusting, but this Texas boy, <sighs> it was some good snow. It's about 1 a.m. It was like a blizzard day. Uh, it was about an inch and a half, almost two inches. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was an inch and a half. It didn't it look like. Light... Possibly, you know, it's 1.5. Five, you round up. Might as well call it two inches. If you're going for two, you might as well go for four. That's what I was about to say. Now now she's catching on. But It was good snow. But it's not really Christmassy. I know that there are a lot of places really that have warm weather for Christmas, so it's natural. But we're used to cold weather and a little bit of snow. But It's going to be 82 in Houston. I don't know if oh. that was for tomorrow or what. But wow. I, th I think that was forecasted tomorrow. Either way, warm C Christmas Eve. I would not want 82 degrees. You might as well be in Costa Rica or Hawaii. True. You know, but not generally anywhere else, my opinion. My last video I posted, I was going, I said I was going to do question and answers. And I didn't get around to that because I was moved here. And then I got busy doing physical therapy and stuff here. And I just wasn't up to doing it. Um... 
so I can't promise what videos I was gonna say I, I would do a certain video but I can't promise what videos I'll do when I'll do them so I don't want to say that I'm gonna do something and not do it because I've done a lot of that in the past and I don't want to do that any longer yeah Cowboys are winning Cowboys doing good they're looking like they're going to the playoffs Dallas Cowboys baby Steelers aren't doing too bad no, but I don't think they're in the running for playoffs now. They're in the wild card. They're still in there oh. for the wild card. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. All right, so we're rambling at this point, just trying to find something to talk about. I've been gone for so long, I forget I forget how to make a video. Um, I am laying down again is because the reason I'm laying down this time is because I'm in a lot of pain when I sit up from the lumps in my stomach. It's in my... I know for people who are familiar with the term, uh, in obese people, it's called the apron area, the part that hangs down. Uh, there's like two or three lumps. And apron? They, yeah, they call it the apron. That's cute. Because it kind of like goes down like yeah, an apron, I guess. apron. So that's why I'm laying down is because when I sit up, it's extremely painful. Um, so there's that. That's why I'm laying down. Uh, but I guess I'll, we'll end it here. And um, I just want to make sure I tell everyone to have a very Merry Christmas. And thank you for all the support you've given me this past year. And the past years, I appreciate it so much. For those of you who are here, even if you hate me, thanks for coming here and supporting my channel and supporting me. Uh, even negative support is support. So thank you for being here. Thank you for the comments. Um, for those of you who are true, truly supportive, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Uh, there are quite a few of you, and that means a lot to me. And I, like I said, I appreciate it so very much. And I hope, too, when I get home, that I can get back to making regular videos and maybe think up of a new opening and a new background Maybe I can be brainstorming while I'm here thinking of something new to do on my channel. I don't know. Who knows? All right, enough rambling. I'm going to close this and then we're going to eat dinner and then it'll be medicine time and time for him to go home and time for me to go to bed. We've been playing, oh, that's another thing. We've been playing pool, uh, pool app. And oh, eight ball pool. Eight ball pool. And uh, we've been playing pool. It's pretty neat. It's a cool pool game. Gene uh, gets really mad when I beat him. The fit? Well, not necessarily. She just likes to play this these huge tables that it's like a fifty thousand dollar buy in, and, and we only have like five hundred thousand coins. And the other day when he was like, here, come on, man, that's like a huge chunk out of the uh, bank, you know. And then if we do play the big table and I'm losing, then I start whining at the end. I'm like, you're not going to take my coins, are you? I got to play nice. She, she doesn't have to play nice. She can take my coins, but I can't take her The other coins. day when he was here, I had his phone, and he was like, what are you doing with my phone? I was like, nothing, nothing. So I was playing against him on both phones, and I drained his account of all his coins. Yeah, she left him with 47 coins. <laughs> and then he tried to say that I, he had more coins than he really had, and he was being a crybaby about it. So I just had to give him back more well, coins. Well, I worked kind of hard for him. Gotta win a lot of games, not spend any money. We didn't spend a dollar on that game, just no. FYI. I mean, it's just, we earned those 500,000 coins. And damn it, I want my coins back. Except my rating's not very high because I am I lose a lot. I'm a pretty good pool player, but I do lose a lot. She is. Anyhow, She's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, rambling once again, as I always do. All right, so I wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you are happy and healthy and that you're spending it with people you love. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope that you have a really good weekend. And I, or we, will see you again very soon. Bye, everyone. Peace.